Here's Tropical Storm Chantal, still hanging on at the moment with wind speeds of 45 miles per hour and a pressure of 1,011 millibars. Currently positioned 16.5 degrees north, 72 degrees west, and expected to move towards the west northwest, come close to Jamaica um, on its way to becoming a tropical depression through Cuba and then possibly affecting Florida as a tropical depression. It's uh, barely hanging on at the moment, it's, or so it seems. Uh, tropical storm warnings now remain in effect for the Dominican Republic, Haiti, the Turks and Caicos Islands, the southeastern Bahamas at the moment and we also have tropical storm watches in effect for Jamaica and the central Bahamas at the moment so obviously tropical storm conditions are still likely um, particularly on the island of Hispaniola where the storm is located near at the moment um, especially if, since most of the um, storm activity is towards the uh, east of the system and perhaps towards the north as well uh, more on that in the satellite imagery very shortly so heavy rainfall could be possible on um, the Dominican Republic and Haiti and indeed in Jamaica as time goes on in Cuba as well uh, looking at the sea surface temperatures now still very warm at the moment um, certainly conducive for tropical cyclone development 28 to 29 degrees um, at the moment which is certainly very warm for a tropical storm um, and looking at the latest satellite imagery you can see how it's been struggling recently flare-ups here and there waxing and waning throughout the day and the night um, the worst of the um, the worst of the storm will probably uh, over the Dominican Republic at the moment now's last few frames uh, a lot of heavy rain falling there so it appears lots of cloud cover at least anyway the floater imagery you can see the storm moving generally towards the west northwest you can just about see the center of the storm um, just to the south of the part that juts out in the Dominican Republic I'm sure it has a name but I don't know it uh, it's just to the south of that location at the moment moving quickly towards the west northwest so let's take a look at the world tropics then the um, full picture you can see um, remnant low Eric what was Eric moving towards the um, northeast into Mexico and possibly into the United States, the remnants of it at least. Uh, Chantal moving, of course, past Hispaniola and t uh, Typhoon Sulik, which we just did an update on an hour ago, moving towards the west northwest towards the Asian continent at the moment. A very strong system indeed, that one. But here's the Atlantic Ocean. You can, you can see Chantal. This picture's about 12 hours old. You can see how far it's moved in that time. Um, it's still moving fairly quickly off to the west northwest, but that movement's expected to slow down a little bit as it weakens and probably comes. Uh, becomes a tropical depression, moves over Cuba and may not even make it to the other side depending how it goes with land interaction. So looking at 2013 compared then, three tropical storms and no hurricanes and no major hurricanes as of yet. 2013 ranks second bottom so far but of course it's only July and there are still many months to go of the Atlantic hurricane season. It'll certainly be interesting. Uh, don't forget you can track this storm and indeed any other storms out there at the moment and in any, any other storms that form in the future on the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking is the main storm tracking page where you have the overview map with the tables at the top and bottom showing which storms are active and what warnings are currently in effect and then you can go more in depth basin by basin to see which storms are currently active um, the tracking maps for them as well and uh, any other information in more detail obviously warning information is important here as tropical storm watches and warnings are in effect with this storm um, and um, uh, warnings are in effect already for typhoon sulik as well so you might want to keep up to date in between videos on the website uh, you can do that and uh, the next bulletin will be coming up for both uh, two storms that are out there at the moment at midnight UTC uh, on the beginning of July the 11th Thursday morning that's it for now though